I just don't agree with that conclusion. Um, I mean, if, if you go to the Psalms and it talks about God sleeping, Al Bukhari, 1144. Narrated Abdullah. A man was mentioned before the Prophet, and he was told that he kept on sleeping till morning and did not get up for a salat, i.e., the Fajr prayer, the dawn prayer. The Prophet said, Satan urinated in his ears. So, when a Muslim sleeps through his prayer, it's not because he's tired or lazy or doesn't really care about Islam, it's because the devil took a whiz in his ears. As we saw in Fun Fact 3, Satan pees in your ears. But where does he stay at night? Sahih al-Bukhari, 3295. Narrated Abu Huraira. The Prophet said, If any one of you rouses from sleep and performs the ablution, he should wash his nose by putting water in it and then blowing it out thrice, because Satan has stayed in the upper part of his nose all the night. I mean, if, if you go to the Psalms and it talks about God sleeping, you, uh, we don't think that God sleeps, right? So you'd say, well, that just... They're using poetic language there, right? God sleeping means he's just not seeming to pay attention to what's going on in, in your life right now. So, but you don't mean that literal sense. That doesn't mean that you don't think the scriptures have errors in it. Um, or if you go to Proverbs chapter 8, when it talks about the woman wisdom standing on top of the roof and shouting down to all who are sinful, come and learn from me and become wise. Well, if we don't imagine that there was an actual woman named Wisdom standing on top of a house yelling and inviting people to listen to her, 